What's up guys, I'm Steven. And I'm Kylie. And as we head into the holiday season, we are making the rounds to all of our properties to make sure that the kitchens are clean, well stocked, and safe for the families and groups of friends that will be gathering here over the next few months. And whether you've been hosting for a while or just getting started, we have some great tips for you today. When we're stocking the kitchen of a short-term rental, either from scratch or if we're starting to manage a place that was already set up like we did here at Casa de Cala, we always reference the same inventory list. Yeah, we've made that list available to all of you, and it even has links to the exact products that we buy in all of the houses. You can check it out by clicking on the link in the description below. This list is a great base for knowing what to buy for a kitchen, really for an entire short-term rental, but I think it's important to note that specifically for the kitchen area, there are going to be some tweaks that you might need to make. Yeah, you're going to want to tailor the quantities that you buy and maybe even add some amenities. It really comes down to the size of your kitchen, how much storage you have there, and the occupancy of your house, as well as some other factors. So one of the first things that we're doing to prep our STR kitchens for the holidays is going through and making sure our inventory counts are where they should be and also checking for things like chips or cracks in plates or glassware. When it comes to things like plates, cups, and silverware, these are things that guests are actively using for meeting. We'd like to have twice the max occupancy of the house. So in a house like this where the occupancy is six, we would have 12 of each of those items, so sets of silverware, plates, cups, uh, for the guests to use. We also like to have outdoor dinnerware available if you have an outdoor dining table. This will encourage guests to potentially keep your nice ceramic dishes inside and use like a melamine set outside. For this outdoor dinnerware, we keep counts a little bit lower, usually one to one and a half times your max occupancy. And also make sure you're looking for dishwasher safe options because most of your guests are not going to be checking the back to see if it can or cannot go in the dishwasher. And it's very unlikely that if you have a dishwasher that your guests are hand washing dishes. Many of the homes in our portfolio are three bedrooms. We have a couple that are smaller, some that are larger. And and there's been at least a handful of guests so far that said that they're going to cook a Thanksgiving meal in the house. And chances are that one of your guests during this holiday season will be cooking a holiday meal in your property. So now's a good time to take a look at what you have in your STR kitchen when it comes to food prep and cooking. We like to do what's called a turkey dinner test. So we're not saying you should go do a test bake of a full turkey dinner. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want to, but what we are saying is, you know, we like to go through some of the typical recipes that people might prepare around the holidays and then go through our kitchens and make sure we have all of the right utensils and tools to complete those meals. These are usually little things like a turkey baster or a potato masher or some larger things like a roasting pan, but we're not necessarily telling you that you need to go out and buy those things right now. In general, we think a very well-stocked kitchen is an attractive selling point, especially in a competitive market. It. But if you don't have all the items right now, this can be things that you add to gradually over time. We'd recommend just starting with the essentials that are on our sample inventory list and then slowly invest back into the property over time as budget permits and also as space permits because another thing is you don't want to start over cramming your kitchen cabinets or it's just going to start looking cluttered. Yeah, another thing we'll consider is like the total price of a booking. If a guest is asking us for something that we might not have, we'll consider adding that item in advance of that guest stay. That did happen last year I think a guest asked for a roasting pan or asked if we had a roasting pan in advance and it was a pretty high dollar booking so we ended up buying one for the property. Yeah we'll give you a couple examples here of messages that we're getting this season. So for a couple of our three bedroom places out here people have told us that they're coming to visit family who live in the area and they're not going to be doing any cooking here they're going to be having Thanksgiving dinner at the family member's house so we're not super worried about you know making sure the turkey baster is in the drawer. At another property we heard from a guest that they will be cooking Thanksgiving Thanksgiving meal at the house and this is already a well-stocked kitchen so one of the things that we've done in the past in the, these sort of scenarios is an extra nice welcome basket. Last year we even went around and got pies from a local bakery for a couple of the properties since you know people are paying top dollar at those holiday times. We've also picked up some of these turkey decorating, cookie decorating kits for some of the properties that have kids coming. These are just small touches. I think this was like $6.99 and these guests are paying, like Steven said, top dollar holiday prices. So just a little extra touch just to make them feel special. A little detail like that might make their stay memorable. They might think of us again. They might write a great review. Tell their friends. Tell their friends. We think it's a positive investment back into the property. At our beach properties, these are one or two bedrooms with pretty small kitchens. We don't really think most people 
people are going to cook a multi-course meal you know in our small cottage so what we have done is give them a list of local restaurants that have thanksgiving day meals this could be something that you could put together in a blog post if you have a direct booking website or you could just type something up and print it out and leave it on the counter for them or you could just send them a short list in airbnb's messaging so to sum all this up consider investing into the little details of your kitchen if your space and your budget permits and also keep in mind that for most markets this is peak holiday pricing time so try and think of ways that you can add value into your guest stay which doesn't have to directly equate to you spending a lot of money could be cheap little details like the cookie kit or free details like where to grab a holiday meal when a lot of restaurants are closed. Next, let's talk about maintenance. Your kitchen is going to be getting a lot of use over the holidays, especially your appliances. So now is a perfect time to make sure everything is in top working order. Check your fridge filters. That's a common one where they expire. And make sure you set your clock to the right time after daylight <laughs> savings time. And then just the basics, you know, your fridge, your dishwasher, your stove, your microwave, small appliances. Make sure everything is super clean and is working properly. One little tip for ovens, we like to use disposable oven liners and trim them to fit in your oven and they catch any drippings or overflow from things people might be baking. But one thing to note on that, make sure that they're trimmed because sometimes ovens have vents on the bottom. We had a situation where our cleaner replaced the oven liner and forgot to trim it. And so it was covering those vents. And when the guests went to use the oven, it ended up setting off the carbon monoxide detector. And it was... Quite the production. It was a big yeah, it was a big deal. They, they didn't know what to do. I think it scared them. They well, it was scary for us too because we didn't know why it happened at first. It wasn't until we really kind of got in and poked around that we figured that out. So trim them around any vents if you do use those oven liners. Another safety item, you should always have a fire extinguisher in the house. And we like to make sure they're in a pretty prominent location. If you're going to put it in a cabinet, don't stuff it all the way to the back behind a bunch of things where someone might not find it when they're really needing it. Yeah, if there's a kitchen fire, you need to be able to locate the extinguisher pretty quickly, especially if you're in a kitchen that you're not familiar with, you don't know that it's in the pantry, you know. So your guests had a nice holiday meal at your house. Maybe they cooked it there. Maybe they ordered takeout from a, one of your recommended restaurants. Now it's time to clean up. We never like to skimp on guest supplies when it comes to things like trash bags, sponge, dish soap, dishwasher tabs, paper towels, all that stuff. But it's especially important during a time of year when people are going to be doing a lot of cooking. Yeah, the last thing we'd want to hear, and I guess would want to find out, is that they've cleaned up some stuff, taken out a bag of trash, and there's no other trash bags in the house but a whole kitchen to still clean up. Or no sponge or no dishwasher tabs. Now's not the time to skimp on supplies. Make sure you're stocked up. We previously did a whole video on how we stock supplies, consumable supplies, at vacation rentals, and we'll link that here on the screen. We hope you have a happy Thanksgiving and we are wishing you a day of no fires to put out at your short-term rental property, both literally and figuratively. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.